Hello, so in this video we'll look at sounds for our text boxes. So here you can see noises. Yay! So first we're going to go to the sounds resource, which is going to be in the description. And we're just going to put Delta. We're going to look at Delta. The sounds resource is basically the spiders resource from earlier, except for video game sounds. So we're going to look at Delta. Here it is. We're going to go to sound effects right here. And then click to download. And then here, we're just going to have a demo. Show in folder. And right click. Okay, make sure to right click it. And then click extract all. And then it's going to open this and just click extract. And it should just extract everything. So basically, it's all compressed. All of the sounds are compressed into one big file. And we're just un uncompressing it. There we have it. Okay. I'm just going to open this, go to turn audio. So we want to go into the internal sounds and chapter one variants. Depending on what sound effects you want, you might want chapter two. I know some of the sounds are slightly different in chapter two. So I'm just going to use some of the chapter one ones because they're not really that different. Um, okay. So. I'm just going to keep scrolling until I find SND, TXT, and then here. So SND text. This is the default text noise. Um, so I'm just going to minimize this and then drag this into GameMaker. And then it creates this new file. And I'm just going to call this SND default text. So this is going to be the noise that our text box will make every new character. And so I'm just going to go back to that folder. And then I'm going to drag in. So each of these have their own character. Like this is Asgore's. This is Noah Wells. Um, Noah Wells. This is Sans. And I'm just going to grab Sans and put it in here. Drag it in Game Maker. Then I'm going to set the volume to be slightly quieter, so 0 0.75, 0 0.75, I'm actually going to set it to 0 0.5 because it's pretty loud, and I'm just going to test how well that seems, that seems pretty good. I'm going to call this SND Sans Text, and that sounds good. Okay, let's go over to our text box folder here. And then I'm going to open O text box. And I'm going to go in the create event and put here txtb sound. So this is going to be, actually, I'm going to make this SND, txtb underscore SND. And this is going to be our sound that the text box is going to make. I'm just going to put, so right now these are right here, but we want them to be in the sounds folder. So I'm just going to drag these sounds into the sounds folder. And then SND default text. Well, now I'm just gonna go over to add event and we're gonna create a step event, an end step event actually. So the step event happens after every single step. So a step event runs every single frame. So this, the end step event will run after the step event for the frame but before the next frame. So it happens in between the step event and the next frame. So here we're just going to put, actually, we haven't created a, the variable we need yet. So we need to go over to here, where it says draw card, and I'm going to put old draw card equals zero. Then for end step event, I'm just going to put old draw card equals draw card. So basically, this at the end of every frame is going to turn into draw card. So when we check what draw card is in the draw event, it will be what it was the previous frame. So if that's a little confusing, it'll make more sense in a bit. So let's just go to the draw event and check. Actually, we can do this in the step event. So I'm going to add a new event and create a step event because the draw events for all the drawing of stuff. So we don't need to put stuff that's not drawing related in here. 
Uh, in the step event, I'm just gonna create a new comment here that says sounds. But if if draw card is not equal to old draw card. Oops, they took the throwing away man. I don't think it really matters, but it's um it kinda looks very neat this way. I don't think it matters, don't worry about it. But I'm just gonna put that there. Anyways. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Cool. Um oops, okay. And here I'm just gonna put sound play. Audio play, I mean. Audio play sound and then the sound id is going to be our sound our txtb sound and then the priority is going to be 10. so the priority just means if a sound's already playing how high is it in the priority so it doesn't like overlap something so if it's lower it i'm pretty sure it just won't play at all um but anyways yeah, loops is going to be false, because we don't need it to loop, so loop will just mean the sound keeps playing over and over again. The gain, so that's actually all we need to put there. So we don't need anything more, just this. Cool. Um, then I'm going to put a semicolon, and then let's just press play and see if the sound plays. I'm going to go to continue, and I'm going to interact with something. It works. Um, that sounds pretty good. That's it. I'm gonna try to get a bigger episode tomorrow, but subscribe, make sure to like the video, to and if you didn't, you don't like the video, but please like it anyways, I don't know. Um, have a good day. Bye.